Kids are going through maths questions, they're successful, they get them right, but they don't even really know what they're about. Let's react to this clip about studying math from the Lex Friedman podcast. One thing we know is a lot of people, when they review material, whether it's maths or anything else, don't do it in the best way. I think a problem a lot of people have is they read through maybe a teacher's explanation or a way of doing maths and it makes sense. And they think, oh yeah, I've got that. And they move on. Um, but then it's not until you come to try and work on something and do a problem that you actually realize you didn't really understand it, just seemed to make sense. This is totally true. I see students studying math just by looking over their notes from class or maybe reviewing homework exercises that they already did. But when they come to study for the test, they don't try new problems. They don't seek out new problems. And on the internet, that's not difficult at all. Perhaps you're studying for a first test in your Calculus 1 class. Well, it turns out that a lot of Calculus 1 classes are about the same. So if you search Calculus 1 Exam 1, you'll probably have a dozen or more exams that you can find online that you can use for practice. The question I get asked a lot is about homework, what this is a good thing for kids to do for homework. And one of the recommendations I give is to not have kids just do lots of questions for homework, but to actually ask them to reflect on what they've learned. Like, what was the big idea you, were work you learned today? Or what did you find difficult? What did you struggle with? What was something that was exciting? Then kids go home and they have to kind of reflect in a deeper way. This is great. Of course, like doing problems is important to understanding math, but answering questions like this will not only make you excited about the material more, but it'll fill that maybe gap of a conceptual understanding. And often when you're just working through problems, you tend to forget the conceptual meaning of what you're doing. A lot of times, I don't know if you had this experience as a math student, lots of people do. Kids are going through maths questions, they're successful, they get them right, but they don't even really know what they're about. They, and a lot of kids go through many years of maths like that, doing lots of questions without really knowing what even the topic is or what it's about, what it's important for. So I have to admit, this was true of me. I was really good at just maybe applying algorithms to solve problems. And I didn't understand the conceptual meaning a lot until I got a job in the tutoring center while I was in college, tutoring kids that were taking calculus one and two. And that forced me to have a conceptual understanding. These are some great tips for studying math. So maybe comment about what else you'd like to see me react to. And also make sure to like and subscribe.